Here are a few ways on how to conquer your 20s. 1. Habits The Roaring Twenties, that glorious golden era when the world is our oyster and the possibilities seem as endless as a TikTok dance challenge. It's the time in our lives when we're supposed to have it all figured out, right? The perfect job, the perfect body, the perfect social media presence. Heck, we might as well throw in a side hustle or two just for good measure. But let me let you in on a little secret, my friends. The key to conquering your 20s isn't about trying to be the perfect Instagram-worthy version of yourself. Nope, it's all about mastering the art of habit building, one small step at a time. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you heard someone say, you know, the real reason I'm not where I want to be in life is because I just don't have enough habits? If only I could throw caution to the wind and become a productivity machine, I would be living the high life, surrounded by adoring fans and swimming in a sea of six-figure paychecks. Exactly. It's the kind of advice that sounds great in theory, like a surefire way to unlock the secrets of the universe and become the ultimate version of ourselves. But when you really dig into it, it's about as useful as a screen door on a submarine, Sure, it might keep the bugs out, but when the waves start crashing and the water starts pouring in, you're going to wish you had something a little more substantial to keep you afloat. Because let's be real, the world is a messy, complicated place, and sometimes the path to true fulfillment and happiness isn't about trying to be the perfect, productivity-obsessed version of ourselves, but about embracing the full spectrum of human experience, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Whether it's standing up for our beliefs in the face of adversity, weathering the storms of life's inevitable challenges, or simply refusing to conform to the expectations of others. The truly inspiring people in this world aren't the ones who are constantly trying to maintain a veneer of perpetual positivity but the ones who have the courage to be true to themselves, no matter the cost. And let's not forget the fact that the truly successful people in this world aren't the ones who are constantly chasing after the approval of others, but the ones who have the wisdom and self-awareness to make decisions that are in alignment with their true nature and their long-term goals. So what's the secret to mastering the art of habit building in your 20s? It's all about learning to listen to our own inner voice and to trust that the path forward will reveal itself in due time. Because let's be honest, the people who are truly inspiring aren't the ones who are constantly trying to conform to the expectations of others, but the ones who have the courage to step back, take a deep breath, and make decisions that are rooted in a clear-eyed understanding of their own strengths, weaknesses, and long-term priorities. Think about it. When you're around someone who's constantly trying to maintain a veneer of perpetual productivity, it can be exhausting, right? But when you're with someone who's authentic, genuine, and unafraid to embrace the full range of human experiences, it's like a breath of fresh air, because at the end of the day, what we really want is to be with people who are grounded, resilient, and able to navigate the ups and downs of life with a steady hand and a clear mind. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And you know what? That's the kind of perspective we should be bringing to our personal growth and development. Because let's face it, the truly successful people in this world aren't the ones who are constantly trying to maintain a facade of perpetual perfection, but the ones who have the wisdom and self-awareness to make decisions that are in alignment with their true nature and their long-term goals. So the next time you're tempted to buy into the myth of the perfect habits for your 20s, Remember that the true path to fulfillment and happiness isn't about blindly chasing after a never-ending list of productivity hacks and self-improvement strategies, but about finding the courage to listen to our own inner voice.
and to trust that the right path will reveal itself in due time. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is having the wisdom and self-awareness to make decisions that are grounded in reason, logic, and a deep understanding of who we truly are. And that, my friends, is the kind of advice that's worth its weight in gold. Now, let's dive into the specific habits that can help you conquer your 20s, shall we? First up, the habits to keep you healthy. Gym time. Carving out time for regular exercise is a game changer. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu reminds us, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Consistency is key, whether it's a daily jog, a weekly yoga session, or a killer hilt workout. Nourishing nutrition. Fueling your body with wholesome, nutrient-dense foods is the foundation for a thriving mind and body. As the ancient Indian philosopher Bhagavad Gita says, what a man eats, he becomes. So, ditch the processed junk and embrace a diet that makes you feel energized and alive. Next, the habits to help you build wealth. Savvy savings. Developing a solid savings plan is crucial for financial security and future success. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius observed, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Investing in your future self is one of the most selfless acts you can take. Passive income streams. Diversifying your income sources can provide a cushion against the ups and downs of the job market. As the ancient Indian philosopher Chanagya once said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Start small and watch your passive income grow over time. And finally, the habits to keep you happy and fulfilled. Mindful moments, carving out time for self-reflection, meditation and connection with nature can do wonders for your mental and emotional well-being. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi reminds us, the perfect man uses his mind like a mirror. It grasps nothing, it refuses nothing, it receives but does not keep. Lifelong learning. Investing in your personal and professional development is a surefire way to stay inspired and engaged. As the ancient Indian philosopher Chanakya said, the roots of education are bitter but the fruit is sweet. Embrace a growth mindset and watch your horizons expand. Remember, my friends, the key to conquering your 20s isn't about trying to be perfect. It's about finding the courage to be true to yourself, one habit at a time. So, take a deep breath, trust your inner voice, and get ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. 2. Mindset the 20s, the decade where we're supposed to have it all figured out. Yeah, right. It's more like a wild ride on the emotional roller coaster of self discovery, complete with loop de loops, corkscrews, and the occasional free fall. One minute, you're soaring high, feeling like you can conquer the world, and the next, you're plummeting down, wondering if you'll ever find your footing. But fear not, my fellow adventurers for we have the secret to taming this beast. A mindset that's as sharp as a samurai sword and as resilient as a titanium exoskeleton. Let's start with the SWOT analysis. That strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for those of you who haven't yet mastered the art of corporate jargon. Think of it as a personal audit, a chance to really get to know the inner workings of your own mind. Embrace your strengths like a seasoned warrior, acknowledging them with the pride of a champion who's conquered their fair share of battles. Acknowledge your weaknesses with the grace of a Zen master, understanding that they're simply part of the journey, not a reflection of your worth. And as for those opportunities that lie ahead, well, you're going to tackle them like a visionary explorer mapping out their next expedition, eyes shining with excitement and a heart full of determination. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, 
Knowing others is wisdom, knowing yourself is enlightenment, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Dive deep into the depths of our own psyche, armed with the tools and the mindset to emerge stronger, wiser, and ready to take on whatever the twenties have in store. Now let's talk about intentional happiness. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus reminds us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. So, treat yourself to a matcha latte, journal your thoughts and embark on a solo date, because who knows you better than you? It's time to start manifesting the life you deserve, like a modern-day alchemist turning lead into gold. As the ancient Indian philosopher Patanjali wisely observed, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations, your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. In the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. As we navigate the uncharted waters of our 20s, it's crucial to cultivate a mindset that is both resilient and adaptable. The stoic principles of self-awareness, emotional control, and a focus on what is within our control can be our guiding light. Begin by conducting a SWOT analysis, a tool that the Stoics would have undoubtedly embraced. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. Intentional happiness is the next step in your Stoic journey. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca advises, wherever you are, be there totally. Navigating the twenties can be a daunting task, but with the right mindset, you can conquer this decade with grace and resilience. The key lies in a holistic approach that encompasses self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and a focus on what truly matters. Start by conducting a SWOT analysis on yourself. This exercise, rooted in the principles of strategic planning, can be a powerful tool for personal growth. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus advises, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Identify your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, and use this knowledge to chart a course towards your desired future. Intentional happiness is another crucial component of conquering your 20s. Instead of waiting for happiness to find you, take proactive steps to cultivate it. Treat yourself to a soothing matcha latte, pour your thoughts onto the pages of a journal, or embark on a solo date. As the ancient Indian philosopher Patanjali reminds us, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations, your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find yourself in a new, great and wonderful world. This holistic approach to your mindset can be truly transformative. By embracing self-awareness, you'll gain a deeper understanding of your unique strengths and weaknesses, allowing you to navigate the twenties with greater clarity and purpose. Cultivating emotional intelligence, on the other hand, will equip you with the tools to manage the inevitable ups and downs of this decade, turning challenges into opportunities for growth. But perhaps the most crucial aspect of conquering your 20s is maintaining a steadfast focus on what truly matters to you. It's easy to get caught up in the noise of societal expectations, comparing yourself to others and chasing external validation. Instead, take the time to reflect on your core values, your passions, and the legacy you want to leave behind. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. Align your thoughts, your actions, and your priorities with what matters most. And watch as you navigate this exciting chapter of your life with grace 
confidence, and a deep sense of fulfillment. Finally, don't be afraid to invest in your mental health. Addressing your trauma and healing through therapy can be a transformative experience. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca observed, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Embrace the discomfort, for it is the only way to grow. Remember, the 20s are a time of self-discovery, and the key to conquering this decade lies in cultivating a mindset that is both resilient and adaptable. Embrace the stoic principles of self-awareness, emotional control, and a focus on what is within your control, and watch as you navigate this exciting chapter of your life with grace and confidence. 3. People All right, folks, let's dive into the third point of our journey to conquering your 20s, navigating the treacherous waters of relationships. It's more like a never-ending game of musical chairs, where we're constantly trying to find the right people to surround ourselves with. One minute, you're the belle of the ball, the life of the party, basking in the adoration of your adoring fans. The next, you're sitting on the sidelines, sipping your lukewarm latte, wondering if you'll ever find your tribe. But fear not, my fellow social butterflies, for we have the secret to taming this beast. It's all about cultivating a mindset that's as resilient as a titanium exoskeleton and as adaptable as a chameleon in a rainbow-colored garden. Let's start with the most obvious step, getting rid of the people who just aren't worth your time and energy. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius once said, the superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. So take a long, hard look at your social circle and ask yourself, do these people truly enrich my life or are they just dragging me down? If it's the latter, it's time to channel your inner Marie Kondo and start decluttering your life, one toxic relationship at a time. Now let's talk about that pesky habit of putting people on a pedestal. Stop treating your friends, your family, and your romantic partners like they're gods and goddesses, and start seeing them for the flawed, beautiful humans that they are. After all, as the ancient Indian philosopher Chanakya wisely observed, the fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Cultivate genuine, authentic relationships and watch as your social circle blossoms like a field of wildflowers. But wait, there's more. What if I told you that the secret to conquering your 20s in the relationship department is to assume that everyone likes you? Yep, you heard me right. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu reminds us, if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Instead of constantly worrying about what others think of you, embrace the delusion that you're the most likable person in the room. Strut around with the confidence of a runway model and watch as people are drawn to your magnetic personality like moths to a flame. But what about the inevitable drama that comes with navigating relationships in your 20s? Fear not, my friends for we have the perfect antidote. As the ancient Indian philosopher Patanjali wisely observed, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations, your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find yourself in a new, great and wonderful world. When faced with the ups and downs of your social life, take a deep breath and ask yourself, is this worth my time and energy? If the answer is no, then it's time to step away, like a Zen master finding peace in the eye of the storm. In the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. As we navigate the complex web of relationships in our 20s, it's crucial to cultivate a mindset 
that is both resilient and adaptable. The stoic principles of self-awareness, emotional control, and a focus on what is within our control can be our guiding light. Navigating the complex web of relationships in your 20s can be a daunting task, but with the right mindset, you can conquer this decade with grace and resilience. The key lies in a holistic approach that encompasses self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and a focus on what truly matters. Let's start with the idea of getting rid of people who aren't worth your time and energy. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius once said, the superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Take a long, hard look at your social circle and ask yourself, do these people truly enrich my life or are they just dragging me down? If it's the latter, it's time to start cutting them loose like a modern-day Marie Kondo decluttering your life. Next, let's talk about that pesky habit of putting people on a pedestal. Stop treating your friends, your family, and your romantic partners like they're gods and goddesses and start seeing them for the flawed, beautiful humans that they are. After all, as the ancient Indian philosopher Chanakya wisely observed, the fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Cultivate genuine, authentic relationships and watch as your social circle blossoms like a field of wildflowers. Assuming that everyone likes you can also be a game changer. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu reminds us, if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Instead of constantly worrying about what others think of you, embrace the delusion that you're the most likable person in the room. Strut around with the confidence of a runway model and watch as people are drawn to your magnetic personality like moths to a flame. 4. Wealth All right, folks, let's talk about the fourth and final piece of the puzzle in conquering your 20s, wealth. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wealth? In this economy? Good luck with that. But fear not, my fellow financial ninjas, for we have the secret to building a solid financial foundation, even in the face of economic uncertainty. Let's start with the basics. Living below your means. As the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And in this case, that first step is saying goodbye to those trendy, overpriced purchases and hello to experiences that will truly enrich your life. After all, as the Stoic philosopher Seneca reminds us, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. Now I know what you're thinking, but how am I supposed to save money when I can barely afford to keep a roof over my head? Well, my friends, the answer lies in the wise words of the ancient Indian philosopher, Chanakya. Live with your parents as long as possible. Not only will this help you save on rent and utilities, but it'll also give you the opportunity to learn from their financial wisdom, or at least avoid their financial mistakes. But let's not stop there. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus reminds us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. So let's start creating those passive income streams like a modern day alchemist turning lead into gold. Whether it's setting up a side hustle, investing in real estate, or even just renting out your spare room on Airbnb, the key is to diversity your income sources and let that money work for you. In the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. As we navigate the world of wealth and financial security in our 20s, it's crucial to cultivate a mindset that is both resilient and adaptable. Let's start with the idea of living below your means. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, 
It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. Embrace a minimalist lifestyle, focusing on experiences over material possessions. After all, as the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu reminds us, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Now, what about that idea of living with your parents for as long as possible? As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus advises, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Instead of seeing this as a burden, view it as an opportunity to learn from their financial wisdom and avoid the pitfalls that come with living on your own. But let's not stop there. As the ancient Indian philosopher Chanakya wisely observed, the fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Start creating those passive income streams, diversifying your sources of wealth like a stoic warrior preparing for battle. Whether it's investing in real estate, starting a side hustle, or even just renting out your spare room. The key is to focus on what is within your control and let the universe work its magic.